Hello friends, in this video, let's quickly talk about how to create an XML file by using Python or how to write a data in the XML file by using Python. So let me quickly show you one sample XML and then I'll talk about how to create XML file and what are all the uh, basics, basic tags required for us. So I'm showing you one basic XML file. If you really see this, I have a customer XML file, this one, which contains customers is a root tag. Under that, I have a customer tag, which contains a type, which contains a place, which contains a amount. One customer contains a three details here. So customers is a root tag. Under that, we have a individual person tag contains customer type is business place amount. This is the one customer. This is the second customer. This is the third customer and at ending with a customer's root tag. This is a customers. This is a customer. You need to understand. It means that while creating a new file by using Python, I need to do the root tag. After that, I need to go for child tags. So that's the reason why I'm showing you now. So I will be creating a similar file. Okay. With not all these columns, I may take one or two columns. I'll create a one more customer file with a similar structure. Okay. So let's quickly open a Python IDLE. So here let's open a, a file. Let's uh, uh, go to the new module or new file. Let's save this. Otherwise it asks for the save while running. Mm, write or create whatever it is, write XML. Okay. So now this is a place where we do write. So when we do any XML operations in Python, so you need to import the namespace. So hope you know that what is namespace. So the name of the namespace name is XML dot E tree, E tree dot element tree. Elementary. So yes, I'm taking as XML. So this object name, you can keep whatever you want, but this is a namespace name import XML dot E tree dot element tree as XML. So because I'm, I'm, I'm planning to create XML file. That's the reason I gave the name of the, uh, object as XML. So, okay. So now let's come here. So I will be creating a, a function. Hope you know that how to create a function and how to work with this. If not, like I'll be dropping that functions, uh, link in the description section, please go through that. Let me create a function. So here I'm making as a name of the function is generate XML or create XML, whatever the name you want, you can do that. So generate XML or create XML, you can put it, whatever the name. So I'm passing as a file name from a um, file name from the invoking. So that's the reason why I made it as file name. If you're not passing that file name, that's fine. You can directly hard code even here also. So now the first one, the first thing is you need to create a root element first root tag the name of the root tag is customers let's come here now so now root root equal to xml dot element of whatever the name what name you want uh, that name you need to specify here i name customers only customers okay so this is the root tag is done then after that i need to child tag child tag also required. So the child tag, I'm going to make it as, um, so the name of the child tag I'm making as uh, some, um, uh, what I say, C child is C. Okay. Child one, assume it's child one equal to XML, XML, the name of the namespace here, XML, the name of the object, which I referred for the namespace, XML dot element, element, element of what is the name of the child tag? So I, I'll keep a um, customer with small letters to and even there is a difference that is a um, customers. This is a customer. Okay. To understand. Okay. So now, now I need to add this C1 to the root tag. Then only both will be tied. Otherwise it doesn't. Now let's do this root dot append of child one or C1. Okay. So now this customer tag is tied to this customer customers. Okay. Now I need to add some values. I need to add 
some different tags see what is other tag is there type is there place is there let's take any of one or two let's take it as m type 1 type 1 or type whatever it is type or type 1 type equal to type is a keyword let's take this type 1 equal to type 1 equal to now xml dot sub element you need to specify sub element sub element of to which is a sub element c1 whatever the child which you defined c1 comma what is the name of the tag here the name of the tag is type place amount whatever the you want so i am going to make it as a place type is a keyword let's make it as place either is fine even we are keeping in double quotes only nothing will happen even it's a keyword also now what is the name what is the name of the tag so let's put it as a type 1 dot text text equal to double quotes what is the place is uk i'm just generating the same file if you see it, uk next in the same way let's put as a uh, amount amount one otherwise amount whatever it is amount equal to xml dot sub element element of c1 why because c1 i am adding to the c1 c1 is already added to the root tag c1 comma so what is the name i can put it as a amount okay now amount one dot one dot text so what is the value you want to put i want to put uh, some value as a uh, what do you say 4500 let's keep whatever the value you want okay so now this initiated now i need to add see if you understand clearly root has been created to the root this c1 is added here to the c1 i added type and amount okay but so this root this root need to add to the tree need to add to the structure like to get this structure i need to add that to the tree this is a kind of tree okay so now let's add to that tree equal to xml dot element tree of root okay so now what we have to do is so why need to we need to open a file so we need to open a file and we need to write see till now i didn't use a file name here so i i am just generating in my own i need to tag this information to the file now so the information is ready now i need to use a file name to tag this information to the file name so that time i need to use file operations bit so we, we, I, we i have a different video so what kind of file modes we have so what exactly we do with that modes so we have different different kinds of modes but for time being here i am not going to talk that much let's take this with i need to use it so i i'll talk about in a detail information why with and all open sorry not here yeah open of file name whatever the name i want here yeah this is it's a case sensitive you need to use the same casing comma so what mode you want to use is wb so which will help you to write in the binary format okay there is a different modes r and all we will talk about in a separate video around like a 10 plus uh, modes are there yes fl or like whatever it is files whatever it whatever the object you want like whatever the xml you created object like this in the same way you will be creating okay files i'm, I'm making as files here whatever the name you want you can put it here after that tree dot write write of whatever the object you created files that's it if you really understand initially i created all the information then once it is done then i tied that information to the files this is about function okay once it is ready then function is ready now i need to invoke it so why what is invoking what is the function calling so let's go go in a different session that so i already talked about in the previous videos so now so let's invoke that function so how to invoke it you cannot directly invoke but you need to validate before invoking so why to validate is so let me show you how to validate it first 
name not name if if it is um, equal to this okay so then only we need to invoke the name of the function is uh, generate uh, xml and what file name what is the name of the file name you want to pass here so here the, uh, i already have customer dot xml let me take customers or customer2 customer uh, some 3 dot uh, xml so then where where it is going to create the file i am simply giving the name i am not giving the path so if you do not give the path what will happen you know so it creates a file wherever you have the code so this file is there in a particular location it creates a file in the same location now name of the file i am giving as customer3.xml so if i run this what will happen you know it creates a file in the wherever your code file is there so now let's run this once you are done let's run this one second name is not defined one second we'll see that what was the error yeah sorry i earlier i defined only one side here so i, I just defined only underscores uh, at the one side so that's the reason why it got failed so we need to put in a both the sides if the name equal to equal to main both the two underscores at the both the sides then only it works so let let me put a different file name for here and let's run this now so once you run file has been created okay so then let, let's go and see customer 4 is created or not let's go here and see yeah customer 4 has been created let's see the information what information we have here do you see this customers let me format it yeah if you see, really see this customer customer is a main tag after that customer i got it after that place amount i got it so if you want to add one more tag you can do this so in the same way so let's add in the same way amount same way let's add place also a place you already there then you can add some um, uh, discount or something like that you can do in the same way so this is how we create xml files by using python or we write the data into xml files by using python so here if you understand very clearly so I, I just imported a namespace after that i generated a root tag after that i generated a child tag and to the child tag i added normal values and once the child tag is ready then i generated a i tied root tag to the tree so then once it is ready then i wrote entire information into the file so once it is done i call that particular uh, method or function from a different place so this is how we do create or write the data into the xml files by using python that's all about it hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more technical videos thank you thank you for watching